Hello everyone. So I promised to do something about spinning. But first let's just uh, add another tool to the repertoire. Let's see mesh or edge. Bevel edges, control B in this case. Now let's just uh, select the edges and say for instance control Alt select these edge loop here. And then control B. <coughs> There you go. It's a. Uh, it can create little edges. I can type in the numbers if I say for point one or so, point two. Something like this, and then I can also scroll to make the bevel more rounded, like this. So let's just left click. Now we have rounded edges. Here is the bevel. You can also change. Uh, well. Uh, vertices for instance you get something like this uh, let me see what else three segments it's three segments right now shape well this is point five this is round if I'm just gonna continue this it will be more like this or just inward like this so that's uh, interesting as well now spinning that's uh, well I'm just gonna move back to vertex selection select everything scale zero and everything is merged automatically it says here so let's say front view I'm gonna design a bottle G I'm gonna extrude I'm gonna just gonna control right click it's a bit crude a bottle like that extrude scale zero like this well let's just uh, extrude and do something like this extrude scale zero some sort of yeah it's fine by me I'm gonna snap my cursor here like all top view and then I can just move to the spin tool for instance and then you get this view here I'm just going to select one of the vertices or select one of the axes and just ro rotate holding control like that and we have a bottle sort of now I've moved to the spin option and it says 12 steps. Now let's make that 24 steps or so. Make it a bit smoother. Like this. And then we have a bottle. Now let's continue with the glass then. Um, well let's just select everything, scale. Let's make the bottle a bit bigger. Oh, I just wanted to select something. It doesn't work. I have to move back to the select box to select and now I can select things again oh, that's just terrible G well that's more looking more like it I could just uh, alt left click this and then control B select a bevel here G let's select this vertex duplicate Let's say let's say a glass extrude. Let my cursor here scale zero. Of course, top view. Select the spin tool once again. Rotate. And then once again, I have to type in 24 right here. This really, this pin tool is pretty annoying. I have to switch back again. So uh, I'm going to make it a shortcut key. But yeah, now I could just say, for instance, uh, let's bevel this, for instance. Control B. Now let's do the same here. Control B. Control B. 
a little bit less. Thanks for B. No, that's not. Okay. This is kind of like a glass. Yeah, but I'm going to use a key. Let's move to, well, edit mode once again. And uh, just select, well, let's draw a bearing. Bottom view, duplicate. A bearing. So, snap my cursor here, G. That's it. Front view. Alt R. That's going to be Alt R. Uh, mesh. Here you've got the extrude, and it says also says spin. And now it's taking 24 steps, just as I would want it before. But I'm gonna make some changes. The 306. I don't want 360 degrees. So I mesh, extrude. Let's right click, spin, and make it uh, Alt R. X delete vertices and select these in once again. Alt R. There you go. Now let's like take a look at preferences. Spin. Mesh pin Alt R. I'm gonna select a default rotation for 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna save preferences. Um, press Alt R and now it's 90 degrees. So let's make it nine steps. Nine. Use duplicates. Yeah, that's, as you can see, now you make copies and turn it around. Uh, so that's another option. But we just uh, make it like this. And then Alt-R, press it once again. So this needs to be merged. G. So there's a lot of applications for, uh, for this. So we already designed a bracket, for instance. I'm just going to select this portion here for instance duplicate snap my cursor here oh wait let's just snap my cursor here G put this up here and then shift A mesh Q duplicate alt right click G do it like this scale Ctrl F, intersect boolean. Oh dear, it shouldn't do this. I'm just going to press H, hide. Ctrl F, intersect boolean. Alt hide, Alt H. Yeah, it needs to be to be a bit bigger. So. And I'm just going to put this in here. Um, snap my cursor here. Extrude. Extrude. G. And now I'm just going to select this. Control, scroll, Alt R. A couple of times. G. Now let's press Shift N to make sure the normals are okay. And then F to fix. Control F intersect boolean. And now we can fit the berry in a corner bracket like this. Yeah, let's provide it some, some color, I guess. Let's say this. I just P, P separate selection. And let's put the uh, center of the object. Well, I snap my cursor here. And then object set origin to 3D cursor. And this one, well, I guess the corner bracket, I could select these. Snap my cursor here. P, separate selection. Object, set origin to 3D cursor. Now I can just uh, select this one. Snap my cursor there and then snap this cursor to selection. Hmm. rotate let's add some add some color here and let's take a look at material preview of course like that let's 
pretty white now so let's just uh, let's say we print blue a 3d print blue or something and uh, add another color slot here for uh, let's say a new color aluminium or chrome chrome you could even make it look a bit metallic um, this I don't need chrome um, I don't know and then black for instance another one new black all the way here let's just control left control alt left click this edge and then including shift control alt shift this edge assign yeah that would be somewhat like a bearing I guess of course it needs screw holes duplicate let's say G three millimeter hole 1.5 mil like this alt R it doesn't need to be that many steps left click and drag five four three steps that's good enough alt R G Shift N normals, top view, scale in this direction. And I'm gonna snap my cursor to these this point here. Press F to fix. Duplicate. Control Alt right click. Mir mirror. Control Alt right click. And drag downwards. Oh duplicate control alt right click left click screw holes like this and you know what let's make these two millimeters here's another little trick we use the pivot point which is the cursor right now I'm just gonna make it individual origins scale so now shift Y in this direction it scales like this. There are three, let's make them two. Asterisk two slash three. That's two. Let's hide the bearing for a moment. Let's snap this here. Okay, let's do it like this then. Okay. I just control alt. Yeah. Duplicate, rotate. Oh yeah, wait, back to 3D cursor, rotate. And then scale, shift C, 1.5, it's back to three millimeters. Uh, duplicate screw holes like this well let's cut these out for the for out right now control F intersect boolean doesn't work quite out shift N yeah, control F intersect boolean now it does and that's gonna select this part duplicate extrude to cover things up a bit now this is uh, G 1.6 so let's make it 1.5 so I'm gonna select this scale shift X shift Y sorry asterisk 15 slash 16 uh, let's make it 14 scale shift Y asterisk 14 slash 16 like that so this is gonna fit on top so it seals the bearing yeah 
can close up like this. I'm gonna make these a little bit wide. I'm gonna extrude. And let's say X delete edges. X delete edges. Yeah, I'm gonna select this one, control, select this one, press F to fix. Duplicate like that. Shift left click this one, shift control. Oh well, no, let's select these like that. Duplicate. Then Alt left click this, fix. Alt left click this, fix. Just for some support, I guess. And you could make it a little bit nicer, for instance, uh, bevel some things or so, I don't know. But in this case, uh, it's looking pretty good at the moment. Scale zero, scale zero. Oh, scale zero. Yeah, sort of. So now you can cover this up and the bracket, uh, the bearing won't fall out. And these holes are a little bit too small. So let's just then move to individual origins once again, scale. Shift Y, 1.5. So if you have some sc some screws, you can uh, it will go through here and it will uh, create a thread inside this part here. So this could be a 3D print. I'm just gonna hide this. Snap my cursor here. Rotate. I guess it should be 3D printed in this manner. But that's gonna be another video. Hit the like if you found this anything useful. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, of course. And then I'll see you all later.